BCA Computer Networks Unit 1 Layers of OSI Models 7 layers of OSI model are Physical layer Data link layer Network layer Transport layer Session layer Presentation layer and Application layer You can also remember it as Please do not touch Steve's pet alligator. Layer 1 Physical Layer The lowest layer of the OSI reference model is the physical layer. It is responsible for the actual physical connection between the devices. The physical layer contains information in the form of bits. It is responsible for transmitting individual bits from one node to the next. When receiving data, this layer will get the signal received and convert it into zeros and ones and send them to the data link layer, which will put the frame back together. The functions of the physical layer Bit synchronization The physical layer provides the synchronization of the bits by providing a clock. This clock controls both sender and receiver thus providing synchronization at the bit level. Bit rate control the physical layer also defines the transmission rate i the number of bits sent per second. Physical topologies Physical layer specifies how the different devices nodes are arranged in a network i bus, star or mesh topology. Transmission mode Physical layer also defines how the data flows between the two connected devices. The various transmission modes possible are simplex, half duplex and full duplex. Here is a note that physical layer is a hardware layer as the data is transferred via devices such as hub, repeater, modem and cables in the physical layer. Layer to data link layer, DLL The data link layer establishes and terminates a connection between two physically connected nodes on a network. It breaks up packets into frames and sends them from source to destination. This layer is composed of two parts. Logical Link Control, LLC, which identifies network protocols, performs error checking and synchronizes frames, and Media Access Control, MAC, which uses MAC addresses to connect devices and define permissions to transmit and receive data. The Functions of the Data Link Layer Framing Framing is a function of the Data Link Layer. It provides a way for a sender to transmit a set of bits that are meaningful to the receiver. This can be accomplished by attaching special bit patterns to the beginning and end of the frame. Physical addressing After creating frames, the data link layer adds physical addresses, MAC addresses, of the sender and or receiver in the header of each frame. Error control The data link layer provides the mechanism of error control in which it detects and retransmits damaged or lost frames. Flow control the data rate must be constant on both sides else the data may get corrupted thus, flow control coordinates the amount of data that can be sent before receiving an acknowledgement. Access control When a single communication channel is shared by multiple devices, the MAC sublayer of the data link layer helps to determine which device has control over the channel at a given time. Here is a note that data link layer is a hardware layer as the data is transferred via devices such as switch and bridge in the data link layer. Layer 3 Network Layer The network layer has two main functions. One is breaking up segments into network packets and reassembling the packets on the receiving end. The other is routing packets by discovering the best path across a physical network. The sender and receiver's IP addresses are placed in the header by the network layer. The functions of the network layer Routing The network layer protocols determine which route is suitable from source to destination. This function of the network layer is known as routing. Logical addressing To identify each device on internetwork uniquely, the network layer defines an addressing scheme. The sender and receiver's IP addresses are placed in the header by the network layer. Such an address distinguishes each device uniquely and universally.
Here is a note that network layer is a hardware layer as the data is transferred via devices such as routers and switches in the network layer. Layer 4 Transport Layer The transport layer takes data transferred in the session layer and breaks it into segments on the transmitting end. It is responsible for reassembling the segments on the receiving end, turning it back into data that can be used by the session layer. The transport layer carries out flow control, sending data at a rate that matches the connection speed of the receiving device, and error control, checking if data was received incorrectly and if not, requesting it again. The functions of the transport layer Segmentation and reassembly This layer accepts the message from the session layer and breaks the message into smaller units. Each of the segments produced has a header associated with it. The transport layer at the destination station reassembles the message. Service point addressing To deliver the message to the correct process, the transport layer header includes a type of address called service point address or port address. Thus by specifying this address, the transport layer makes sure that the message is delivered to the correct process. Here is a note that transport layer is the heart of the OSI model as the data is transferred via device or protocols such as TCP, UDP NetBIOS, PPTP. Layer 5 Session Layer This layer is responsible for the establishment of connection, maintenance of sessions and authentication and also ensures security. The Functions of the Session Layer Session establishment, maintenance, and termination, the layer allows the two processes to establish, use and terminate a connection. Synchronization This layer allows a process to add checkpoints that are considered synchronization points in the data. These synchronization points help to identify the error so that the data is resynchronized properly and ends of the messages are not cut prematurely and data loss is avoided. Dialog Controller The session layer allows two systems to start communication with each other in half-duplex or full-duplex. Here is a note that session layer is a software layer as the data is transferred via device or protocol such as NetBIOS, PPTP. Layer 6 Presentation Layer The presentation layer is also called the translation layer. The data from the application layer is extracted here and manipulated as per the required format to transmit over the network. The functions of the presentation layer are Translation For example, ACII to EBCDIC Encryption decryption Data encryption translates the data into another form or code. The encrypted data is known as the ciphertext and the decrypted data is known as plain text. A key value is used for encrypting as well as decrypting data. Compression Reduces the number of bits that need to be transmitted on the network. Here is a note that presentation layer is a software layer as the data is transferred via device or protocol such as JPEG, MPEG, GIF. Layer 7 Application Layer at the very top of the OSI reference model stack of layers, we find the application layer which is implemented by the network applications. These applications produce the data which has to be transferred over the network. This layer also serves as a window for the application services to access the network and for displaying the received information to the user. Example, application, browsers, Skype messenger, etc. The functions of the application layer are Network Virtual Terminal It allows a user to log on to a remote host FTAM or File Transfer Access and Management This application allows a user to Access file in a remote host, retrieve files in remote host and manage or Control files from a remote computer Mail Services Provide email service Direct Directory Services This application provides distributed database sources and access for global information about various objects and services. 
Here is a note that application layer is a software layer and it also known as desktop layer as it use the device or protocol such as SMTP. Now let's see how OSI model works. For more updates, follow the BCA World on Instagram and subscribe the BCA World on YouTube.